my dad is painting the new trailer that we picked up with his brand new spray gun. Okay, I cut the the old coupler off and I've got to get one. So I've got a coat of uh, several coats of uh, rusty metal primer on the front half. I take my grinder, I'm using a grinder, angle grinder with a wire wheel on it. I got this old tire off. I'm going to pull the brakes, uh, the, the drum off and inspect the brakes. I like to have uh, different wheels. I like to have the white trailer or the silver uh, trailer wheels. I've got it braced up here in the back. And what I think I'm going to do is my neighbor works for the maintenance department for the town where I live. And I'm going to see if he'll bring the backhoe by. I've got a big old backhoe. And I'm going to brace it there and I'll put a block up here. And if I could get him take the bucket of that backhoe and push down right here I think that will straighten this side out this piece was bent badly and I beat it back straight and I cut this piece out I'll put something else back in there maybe UPS ran today and I got my new coupler and jack I got a foot to go on the end of that jack uh, with it I got to get that welded on there. It doesn't come back as far as you as you can see there. I got another about an inch and a half uh, distance, and then I've got the axle cut apart. I've got the block in there temporarily. I got to line everything back up, and I widen that six inches on each side underneath that. Uh, axle there between the axle and the spring was a little tab it's a little dowel and i had to drill into that axle half inch and uh, got that looked like i got it about perfect uh, that piece of uh, square tubing there was exactly 12 inches and it fits perfectly in there and i got to go up here to tractor supply and get me a u-bolt that one's stripped off nicely it wouldn't hurt to put a new set on this thing. And it is six feet wide now. That piece of angle iron I've laid in there just to get uh, an idea of what I've got. And the tires are flush. The, the ones that are on here are flush with that backing plate there. So I'll have about an inch on each side, which will be good. Okay, I got this piece in. And I chamfered the edges on both of them all the way around. And I've got this piece of angle iron in there temporarily just to get everything lined up straight again. And everything fits nice and tight and perfect. So I'm going to, for now, just tack it 
Uh, I've got my welder up here to straight run on the drop cord, and I don't like to do that. So let me put a couple of tacks on it and then tack the coupler and see if I can pull it around to my building and weld it up for good. All right, I got it set up, waiting for my neighbor to come by with the backhoe. I got a block there. I'm gonna have him set his bucket right there and it drops down on from there back to there. You can see how much of a drop it's got in it. We gotta jack it up that much. My plan is to take my floor jack and jack that up while he holds it down right here and we'll see if this is going to work or not and also i found in my scrap pile i found that piece of angle iron that's a beefy it's at least a quarter inch maybe more i think about welding that on there turning it the other direction put that short side underneath it sticks out a little bit past that right there would definitely beef that up. That wouldn't go anywhere or any problems. All right, guys. Just a quick note here. Uh, I've got too many projects going on. I've got this, my bulldozer, and my son's truck. And I've got to, I've got to get something squared away here. I got this thing all in primer now. I did the back uh, two-thirds the other day when I primed my bulldozer and I started welding up this axle and my welder was acting up and I had to quit. I got it straightened out I think. I found the problem. So I got to pull that this thing back around to the shop and finish welding that in and I've got another piece to weld in uh, on the back side to strengthen that up. And then I've got to go, I think I'm going to take the trailer, uh, I'm going to take the tires off and go down to the tire shop, see if I can get a couple of tires put on. And I'm going to pull this trailer to where the, uh, the guy that has the angle iron, it comes in 20 foot pieces. And I don't have anything really convenient to put it on except this thing. And it's only about a mile and a half from my house. I can get there all back roads. And so I'm going to pull this thing down there load up the angle iron and bring it back. So I need to get this axle welded up. Uh, the next step will be, uh, I've got to fix the, the piece here in the back. I got the frame straightened, but this is kind of arced up. It needs to be pushed down in the middle. And it's kind of pointing back a little bit. It needs to go in that direction. And so I'm going to try to pull that and get it squared away. But we're making progress. I'm going to end this video here. Uh, the next step will be um, painting or building the, the angle iron frame for the, the decking. And then um, painting it all black. I'll do a separate video for that. I'm going to end this one here. And this is really coming along nicely. So anyway, all is good. Enjoy your projects. Have fun.